former um, building project that I did in the sanctuary for this series, I'm just going to show you uh, where I'm up to and what I can do from here at this stage of the game. So at this stage, the character has not gone to Concord yet. Okay, so we haven't done that yet because I don't want this populated until I've done a few other aspects of building. So I want to look at what what I've done so far um, and have a look around and see what I can do um, before I invite anybody into this area and um, then go to Red Rocket um, and uh, see what I can do at Red Rocket and get some resources from the little cave maybe. Okay, so that's the idea tonight. Um, I'm Superfuria, of course, and you are on the Gamer 50 Plus channel. So I do thank you once again for your support of this channel. Um, it is, I, I'm not really widely advertising it yet uh, because I need to upgrade my equipment and um, also I've been uh, very busy with some things in my life. So um, I do, however, uh, really appreciate it if you tell people who might enjoy this kind of content and who are interested in learning these games and playing. Sometimes I show ways of playing in a more passive uh, mode. And tonight's play is not a, um, focused on combat, I hope. <laughs> Sometimes in Fallout you can't, you know, you can't stop it, it just, you get attacked or whatever. However, um, minimal combat and more focused on building. And um, as you can see, that's the vault up the top there where we came from. So yes, we shall uh, we shall go and have a look around. Let's do that, okay? So I'm just gonna turn off my mic. I'm not gonna say very much. I'm just gonna walk around and show you what I've done. I might flip on and tell you a few things here and there. Um, and uh, I'll be dropping in. So let me know if you're in chat, are you doing a project in Fallout, any kind of building project? Um, and what uh, what do you like about this game? I mean, what's the thing that you like to do in this game? Firstly, you need to be fit in order to do building. <laughs> now, you get a nice little bonus. The first time you do that, um, that you work out on the, uh, one of the weights, you actually get a bonus. Um, and for strength, I think it is. 
and um, I'm not sure about this one, it could be agility, um, the pommel horse where you spin it around. Okay, so this is our little common area. Um, I see that, you know, I've put some lights up and around, I've been into the houses and done this and that, cleared them out and just, you know, thrown things around the place. All the radios are thankfully switched off. Um, due to, you know, because of the cold copyright thing. Now, I used, um, I do have a mod where I can make water towers, but otherwise, you can make um, another kind of uh, water pump. The easiest one to make is this one here. Okay. Uh, now, it doesn't give you a lot, but you can make like a whole row of them just to get started. And in Sanctuary, you can also set up a, a small um, generator and a larger pump down there for water. So we're doing pretty well here on resources. We need people, and when you have people, you can get food. So there are there is some food um, planted around the place. You wouldn't know it, but there actually is. And you, here we go, over here. So there we go, in there. So there is some food. And I went over to the to Abernathy Farm and got some potatoes as well. You can um, start gaining food on your resources bar. So if we look at my resources here, you'll see at the top of the bar there on food it says zero, even though you can see the food. That's because I actually need people in the settlement. So you have to have people and then you need to lead them to the food, instruct them to actually um, to actually do that job. So you give your settlers jobs. So if you're new to this game, uh, you would need to know that you can't just have people there uh, willy-nilly. You need to organise them and it's pretty important otherwise they'll just go to wherever is, you know, or wherever they the game deems them you know, that they should be. Uh, and you'll also end up with people who are unemployed in the game, who it says unemployed, and they just sit around all day, whereas they could be doing something useful, like providing a supply line. When you have a supply line between your settlements, it means that you share resources from the settlements. So it's really helpful if you're out of something um, at your settlement, you don't have to hike it over to the other one. If you've got a supply line, it's just there, you know. Um, and that provides jobs for your settlers too. Uh, so I always deck my settlers out with guns and armour and um, medication for, you know, anything, especially, especially my supply lines. So... Yes, look after your settlers, dress them and um, arm them, and when you get attacked, your settlement gets attacked, they'll just, they'll nail the enemy, no problem, you know. Um, there's always, yeah, it's probably part of the game that once in a while, they won't win. So most of the time they win, but every now and again they don't. Now let's see if I can get up these stairs now. There we go. Okay, so this is a guard post. Now the reason I'm saying don't just let people go willy-nilly is because you'll have settlers who come in with clothing that has an armour rating um, which is better suited for them to be a guard and therefore you want to kind of assess them and go well you know given what this person's got and what their equipment that they've got you know gives them do they have any perks I mean you know what, what perks is their equipment giving them uh, so therefore, what are they best suited to? Uh, you can also, you can give them, once you collect some things, you can give them some, some clothes and all the rest. Um, okay, so I've, I see that I've just thrown a couple of... <laughs> yeah, okay, I've just put my generators there. Um, and I think that's, that's the water pump, see? Uh, so I've created a water pump there that is an above-ground water pump. Um, you, so if you don't... Yeah, if you if you don't want to build this settlement, but you you want to move on and build another one, you can have an above ground water pump as well. It actually sends a pipe down into the ground, but you don't have to do anything. You just create it; it's instant. Um, oh, I do have the doggies. See, there we go. And um, 
Yeah, dog is unassigned at this stage. But um, you can actually assign, you know, animals as well. So let's scrap that. I can do with that resource. Um, so you'll, yeah, always leave some trees. This is another tip I will give you. Leave a few trees around because they drop branches. So that, that's a wood resource in your settlement. Okay, so when you have storms, trees will drop branches, right? Um, so do leave a few if they look like they've, I think it's the maple tree. Um, that it looks like it has a few branches still on it. <laughs> uh, if they're completely dead, I don't, I don't keep them. And some things you won't be able to access. So you know, don't stress it. Yeah, it's just the parameters of the game. Of the game. So um, yeah, we don't like that thing. We can use that. Uh, we can bring a barbecue. And the thing is, uh, also you can. Um, you can grab and drag things in this game if it's something you can lift, right? You can't always lift things, but you can grab and drag. Uh, you can put things into, this is only going to allow me to, um, to scrap those. So that, that gives me some metal which I need, right? So grab whatever resources you can, but you know, don't... I, I don't think there's any point in just getting rid of absolutely everything. It's something like that that's really just no use to me. I mean, they can't, you cannot get through these trees anyway. So any fences along these trees can just be destroyed. It doesn't matter. They, they can't get through. Um, so you can get through there now, but that's no big deal. All I have to do is take this post and move it. Now they can't get through. Right, so... Yeah, it's really, it's really not, nothing to, to fuss about. Yeah, see, now I can't get through there. Um, so try to use resources as much as you can that you already have uh, before, you know, before you, you go out hunting for this and that. Uh, see what you can do with what you've got, you know, and um, learn how to move all the, your resources around. Learn how to shift things. See with the fence, all I'm doing is hitting the A button. I can make an open gate there, or I can close that. Um, or I can put a whole new piece in there. It doesn't matter, you know. Um, either way. So we'll just put it the other way. No, it doesn't want to go. So yeah, it can be a bit weird and fussy. If I go that way, it's going to just... Well, I think we just get rid of that piece, actually. And just grab something from here because they can't get through. There's no way through there. So let's just block this off. No, it doesn't want to do it. And this is the weird fussiness that you can sometimes come across. Let's go around the other way. No. <laughs> Testing me. Testing my patience. Okay, no, there we go. I'm pretty patient. I've done this many times over. <laughs> oh, drive you, yes. drive you crazy. Okay, here we go. No. Yes, finally. And now I can get rid of this because I don't need it. There we go. And I could do with the wood so I can build stuff. Okay, so that's fixed. And, uh, you know, pretty simple. I, I don't need any of these. Let's just get rid of them because they cannot get through there. So all you want to do is basically block off where the enemy can get in um, to create some kind of strength to your settlement. They cannot get through here. There's just absolutely no way. And so you may as well just grab all these resources. Um, and if you want to, you can just move. Like these double fence, double fences can be particularly useful. I can fix the dodgy fence here with this, just like that. that that'll do and they won't be able to get through there see so now i can get rid of this one and we just move this guy this one here across and we're done we're all sorted there and that'll do um and we just put one on an angle and we're done with that so some of them you can't get see that all right um yeah that one there's a bit chunky it looks like uh, we can probably get in there right so <laughs> Let's uh, try the other way. Yeah, that's better. It doesn't look like that. And just block it. And that's all you have to do. Um, 
to secure your settlement. Uh, I can actually move this back. I think I will. It's just it's going to bother me that it's in the same place. Mm. You know, why don't we... In fact, why don't I just see if I can fit that across? I can. Uh, all right, and one post. Mm, I'm just get rid of that one. Can I get through? If I can't get through, they can't get through. So that's fine. There you go. So um, check the houses because see that's a whole lot of steel I just collected there. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've looked at these cabinets and there's nothing I want in there, and I don't want to keep those cabinets at this stage. Now, there's something in there. Um, however, it will drop to the floor and I can pick it up. There we go. Okay, so it says a store, so I can store that. All right, and that's how in Sanctuary you can gain your resources. So if you haven't seen the first one that I did, and if you're not really familiar with the building system and you're hoping to pick up a few tips, then, you know, basically you can just go around and gain resources and then you go to the build menu. So you can see I'm in the build menu. Um, and you use the D-pad up and down and across, all right? So the best thing I can tell you is just get in there and give it a go. And, uh, you know, let's see what kind of furniture we can make. Oh, okay, we can make some beds. Um, how many beds do I have? In fact, I've got 10, which is, I think, what you need at the start. I can make some chairs. There you go. And if you've got the means, uh, you've got enough materials, you will... Some of these are from uh, a mod that I have, by the way. So there are some mods that you can get. And I do recommend downloading a few of the furniture mods and building mods because it just makes it so much nicer. All right, and they're, they're in the, you know, they're all approved by, um, by, by Bethesda and everything. So they're all available um, in the, the menu itself. You can find them. Okay, so you go to the menu and menu screen and you can see it has a section there where you can get stuff. So we can just go around and just get rid of all this, or you can keep it, pile it up, and make it look like, you know, a garage, right? <laughs> Depending on what you want to do. Um, so I clearly did not finish uh, grabbing all the resources in this settlement, I because I was focused on demonstrating some building, and I thought, oh, well, I'll come and get it later. So there we go. I do have the red rocket. Uh, I see, I've put, my, I've put this up here, so I've got a machine gun, I've got 10 defence. So I do have that um, machine gun turret there. I can get rid of that, I don't need it. And there should be another one down here somewhere if I haven't got rid of it yet. No, I've already gone around and, and got hold of it. Okay, so there we go. So that's how you get your resources. Um, yeah, that's the menu now. And what did I do here? Did I do anything? Okay, so I've got a few chairs that can be destroyed and, and that'll give me a few other resources as well. Okay, no problem. Um, sometimes those lights work and sometimes they don't. If you um, put a... Uh, a generator a small just a small one it'll do you know on the roof of the house and I run the lead onto the roof of the house it will uh, activate so I'm not sure if I can make a generator but um yeah so electricity is a particular kind of thing here in this game you can make those things which would look good but they're not very efficient really um, the nuclear power ones that you make, you can make later, and with a mod, are the best. Um, I do suggest making. Okay. Now this is the original house that you start in at full out. Okay, and I've just I've done a few things to, there, to repair this house. And it doesn't look great yet. Uh, it's just, you know, 
put that, things back in order. One thing you can't do unless you download a special mod for it is get rid of all the leaves. <laughs> so you can try to lay down flooring or carpet and uh, that will help. Uh, I've got a bed here so you can have some rest and I think I thought I did have a drinking fountain. Right, so making a drinking fountain is really important because it gives you pure water. All right, so you can't fill up bottles or anything with that, right? Once you create water on your settlement, you'll automatically have them um, in like every day. You'll have a certain amount of bottles that will be in your um, management area over here what's this thing called again the the workshop okay so if you go to transfer instead of workshop and I'll flick across you'll see that's the stuff I've collected from this settlement mostly um, you'll see that I've got junk um, ammo what else have I got? it should tell me that I have water there it is Okay, so every day or every second day that will top up if I've got settlers and if I've got um, water pumps and such. Okay, so that's how that works. All right, well I'm going to uh, I'm going to get into it, and you can you know you can make crafting tables if you do have the right uh, ingredients for them. So that that just all depends. So we'll just take that. We don't, we don't need that go into something I think it's in the extras isn't it there we are a wrench so we'll just peg that in there and you'll see that I've actually created these all right so I've taken out what was there and I've put little lockers in there okay now repairing this particular the roofs in Sanctuary, there are some videos specifically about that, and you can give that a go. Um, I found it uh, really awkward, and I just prefer to make a building that looks like this instead. So, you know, that's that's just my approach to it. Um, but you know, I'm sure you you've come up with your own too. So, oh, wait, can, one thing we can do before I forget, before I forget, is uh, lighting. Now, if you don't have if you do not have lighting straight away and you want some lighting in your settlement, you just, you know, you can go to decorations. If, if you just haven't collected enough stuff and it's a case of, well, you know, I really need to be able to see, this is getting crazy. All of that is from a mod, so just ignore those. These ones are not. So you can do a basketball hoop and your settlers will play basketball if you have a basketball you can put down a campfire, which usually traders will um, will gather around. You'll see that you can do candles for lighting if you've got the uh, the right stuff for it. Cigarette machine, uh, the doggy house. You can do one of these barrels, but look at what it will cost you, and just make sure that's exactly what you want. What I like to do is this one here. Okay. So I want to make that, and um, I don't think I want to have it there, but <laughs> I want to put one here, so let's do it. There we go. So I've at least got a little bit of light there, and uh, you know, you can pop those around your settlement, and uh, just to, to bring a little bit of light to the settlement. Now you'll see that I did create light here. I have a few different lights because I've run some power leads from those um, from this generator okay but if you don't have that then you can make these ones which are actually quite nice I think so you'll see I've got one there already um, and I'm going to um, move this because it's not exactly where I want it to be so I might just move it yeah. let's put it there okay very nice so for lighting, you can do that. That or oh, candles, but I find the lanterns are a little bit better. All right, I'm going to get on with it and um, and uh, just be a little quieter and maybe sleep through the night, get up and do something the next day. All right.
So these little um, box cars are in the original crafting menu and they are really good for turrets actually because the turret is protected all the way around so it's a good place to you know to to get turrets protecting a way to get turrets protecting your um your settlement wherever it is uh, you can just pop it down and there's a couple of different versions but see that one they can shoot through it so i like the one um there's a small one i think it's this one here um nope that one that one there I like because you can put any kind of turret in that. Larger turrets go in there and everything and um, just aim them towards an area. Uh, so yes, that, that I use at Red Rocket. I don't generally do that here, but I do do it at the Red Rocket. I hide them in trees as well. You can hide them in bushes and all sorts of stuff. So I do have this kind of weird experience of um, things not aligning and you're going to find that in this game that often things don't line up and so you've got to get a bit creative with <laughs> with how you uh, how you build all right so what I'm looking for is this the scaffolding now that's a one Let's see how I can build that one across so that's going to sit, and it, you see it sits flat on the other piece of flooring. So, yep, that's what I'm looking for. Um, I can also go for larger pieces, which um, makes me very happy. So, except, see how that's coming out now? Hmm, that's, that's one thing that's a bit, of an, a bit annoying, is that it doesn't necessarily, like, the lines aren't exact. So you always kind of coming up with solutions and, and trying to fix things. Mm. I don't know. What I can do is I should be able to place one here. No, it's not going to let me. I have to put it on top. I see. Okay. So my scaffolding wants to go the other way. Uh, now that is a staircase. However, I, yeah, I don't want that issue. So this will probably just be a veranda I think. So I can just do that and I need a small one. Will it go? Ah, oh, there's something in the way now. Yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm. I also need something to close this off because you don't really want to be looking at that. Um, I should be able to do like a half wall. We'll see. Right. Will it go? Yeah, it will. Okay, great. So I can actually maybe link it to this one? No? Maybe not? Yeah, you often fall when you're building, you often fall down too. That's the other thing. <laughs> so that's, that's not uncommon. <laughs> Now I did actually, you can see I've put one here before, but I've been stuck in this roof before, <laughs> which is a bit frustrating, I don't really want to be stuck there again. Um, hmm, maybe I need a larger one, I wonder, like, what about a large? Can't get out of here now, okay, what about a big one? I'm about to pull down I think. <laughs> okay, uh, no it doesn't want to do it, so that, that's going to be too high. Okay, yet again, um, oh, yet again another dilemma. Yeah, see I'm falling down a hole now. And uh, that's one of the issues here. I couldn't get that to align either. That was not going to align. I think because I've got it around the other way. Uh, I must have grabbed the wrong piece. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's not supposed to go that way. Uh, let me put this here. What is going on? I've got all sorts of weird pieces, so that must go here. I've got them around the wrong way. Or does it not fit? Maybe that's the issue. It doesn't like to... Um... No, it doesn't want to attach, does it? Let's attach below. Now, let's go this way. Right. Why won't you attach? No? I don't know. Why would you want to attach like that and not like this? So what if I take 
that one. And try to attach it down here. So that's why I had to uh, do them around the other way. So sometimes you just, yeah, sometimes you just can't get it to, to do what you want it to. It has its own, its own mindset, so to speak. Um, so that one's sitting there nicely. And what happened to the one that I had? Oh, there it is. <laughs> right. So the only way to, uh, to get this thing to work is to go that way. It apparently likes going that way. <laughs> um, so it's a little frustrating, but you can actually do a different kind of... You can do this, maybe one of these things. Um, yeah. I might just... I might just can this. I keep an eye on my settlement size, but let's get rid of this idea and I'll build, I'll build a different one going up there. Right, let's just go with my other idea. It could probably link up to that. So I can build this staircase, which will link up nicely. The problem is settlers get stuck and they end up in single file. So it's a really good idea to kind of have a a broader pathway for them to walk up. Um, that's not too bad though. I mean, what other staircase can I find, I guess? Let's see. Um, hmm. What a staircase here. What about that? Well, that's, I think that's, is that the same one? I've just looked at exactly the same one. <laughs> oh dear. No, I haven't. I haven't. I'm not going crazy. I thought I was losing it, but I. I'm not losing it yet. <laughs> um, now these stairs are good. Actually, I really do like concrete stairs. And in fact, I'm going to go with those. I think that's a better solution to this problem. They look nicer. The settlers don't seem to have as many issues with them. So I'll just, I'll go like that. And if I can't get up there, they won't be able to get up there. Ah, uh, see, now I'm stuck. Okay, let's get rid of this. Um, which means I've got another dilemma. So I, I get to here and I have a problem. Uh, so I, I'll just jump. Oh, I can't jump. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, that's not quite reaching. So how about I push it further or bring it out more? That might be a better solution as well. So I've got to keep thinking of what the right solution might be. Um, and I need, no, I don't want to do that. Um, all right, so let's get those, those pieces, the scaffolding pieces. They work really well. And let's just go with a long one. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I can't, uh, I have to actually, all right, I need another part of a staircase that is, um, uh, hmm. Um, this is this is the dilemma you have. Okay, when you're trying to build anything at all, you're going to come across these kind of things. So you can see I've got a um, stairs sitting there, and I, I pretty much need a floor to go from there uh, to where I am. So I want I don't want to use too many resources. So let's use this floor because I'm going to be building other stuff. Let's see if I can get that one to there. Yeah, see, that'll that'll go along here. Is that what I want, though? That's kind of a bit strange. It goes to the side. Uh, stops us falling, at least. So I'm going to put that there for now. This is the small one. But I still can't get up there. See, it's not letting me up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I need to do is... Um, Maybe now use the sloped, um, the sloped piece. So let's try one of these pieces, and with a railing, I think, because oops, um, because otherwise we're going to get stuck. <laughs> right. So that's got a railing. Let's see if that. There we go. That could be a better solution. I think I was out of um, steel before. That's why I didn't do a railing. Let's see if it will work if I place that just so. Might join. See, so, yeah, a bit of an issue with it not joining. I might remove this. 
Trial and error. Whoop. Hmm. Try again. Yeah, you can sink through the ground. <laughs> so if you're building on a roof and you hit a certain button, you can actually fall right through it. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm going to keep going. See if I can solve the stair dilemma. <laughs> and uh, then I want to head over to the red rocket and go grab resources and start building up that one.
Okay, well that's an improvement at least. Uh, it's going to be very dark up here, so at this stage I've got a spare staircase. Cement stairs were not going to work up here. Uh, I could have, I think just because of the height that I've built at. So that's a thing, you know, when you're building on top of a house like this, the height is different to what it would be for your regular stairs. Uh, so, also warehouse is different from the original, you know, uh, standard house. So you will need to kind of plan out or just figure out which bits fit, you know, which, which pieces fit here and there. So I can see that um, these pieces that I just placed fit a whole lot better than those, than this piece here as well. So, I mean, that's, I'm going to have to place something kind of in front of that. Uh, so it is a, it's a puzzle. So building in this game is a puzzle and, uh, you know, you are making the best of a circumstance, I suppose, is, is the idea. Uh, so therefore, you can uh, just put it together the best way that you can. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, fixes and ways around things, but I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, it looks better than it did. I, I'm not sure about this flooring now. I quite like this slanted roof, and I'm not sure about my flooring. So I may or may not change that. I also need to, to um, put something in the side here. I'm just going to put the sign up there or a flag. So. Um, well, we're getting saturated, so let's go inside. And uh, I think that's it. Um, it's a nighttime thing. Let's go sleep till the next day and go and deal with the red rocket. Okay, so I've got a lot to do in this settlement. As you can see, it's, um, it's only just begun, really. I mean, there's so much more you can do. But when you get your settlers here, they'll make demands upon you. So just have some beds ready some water and all of that but they're going to want me to do more of some of those things so I will in fact uh, do what they require um, all right no need to eat at this stage so let's just sleep and it's uh, four in the afternoon well we'll just get up really super early I'm gonna have a really long sleep after that experience of trying to figure out the stairs Yeah, good morning. Let's turn off the green light. Aha, uh -huh. is it still stormy? Really? That's a lot of stars. Look how many stars there are. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> how you doing, Codsworth? All right, so, well, that's about it. I mean, we can bring dog, the dog with us. So how about you come for a run? Come Follow on. Me. Let's go. I've been sitting there for long enough. Dark. Actually, I do have a. I don't know. Oh, it's not a mining helmet, unfortunately. All right. Well, let's go. Hmm. Have a gun handy, I think. Just in case. All right. Off we go to the red rocket. Now, did I get the the loot out of here? Yes. Loot has respawned. You can get a drifter outfit, which isn't too bad. And some dog meat. No. There might have been a tire iron there too. So it does respawn quite often. Um, okay, so I can actually pick this up. No, it's not going to let me. Uh, other tires I might be able to. If you see a loose tire around, 
you can lift it usually and put it into your settlement. Uh, so you can lift this thing here for instance. Nope, and it defies me. Maybe I have to put that away. I'm not allowed to lift that? No, apparently not. Okay. Well, we've already done a few things here. Just the, the most basic cleanup. Um, I think I created a bed. Yes, the, okay, I did tidy this room here. So this was all just tidied up and I, as you can see I haven't done anything with that. I've just left it as is. So this is Sturgis's dream location for a holiday. So let's leave him something to, you know, to mess with. Some tyres and some of this and that. Uh, I do have a crafting station actually. I don't think I can make anything yet. <laughs> but... Uh, oh, it's not going to let me out. Okay, there we go. But I have... Um, anything in there? Nothing in there. Okay. Around here is a place where you can find a lot of useful bits and pieces. So it's a good idea to come down here and um, you know just grab things. See that? Now I can drag this and I can in fact bring this up and chuck it there and I can break that down for parts. All right? Now this stuff here is useful so I do come in and get the glowing fungus. It's, it's useful stuff. Right? You can use that. Um, so we've got all of these things that I can put into, um, yeah, I think for now, because they do respawn, so I'm happy to just leave that because it'll, it'll respawn the loot. Um, and this respawns as well, usually. Okay, so, yeah, we will go and put that, uh, put that away into our settlement. Now down here you can also find some um, vegetation. So it's really dark, right? It's hard to see. Here we go. So there's a wild mute, mute fruit. And if I stay in crouch, the dog will stay close to me. And across here. Now we don't want to go too far because there's raiders. And I'm not looking to pick a fight right now. I'm just gathering my resources. This is Concord. Yeah. So the minute you tag it, I think it starts, you know, you start hearing them fighting and carrying on. Uh, now in the back garden here there are some gourds, I think, somewhere. Did I miss them? Where are they? Hmm. I thought they were. No. I must have missed it. Alright, never mind. Let's go around and see what we can find here. We can't use this, isn't it? But uh, you can't actually just grab all of this litter. We're not able to grab. Uh, we can. Can get that. Take a coffee pot. There's a few things. Sometimes we're lying around here. Just a coffee pot this time. Just be careful you don't alert the, the raiders. Now, there's loot in these houses. Um, yeah, so there's loot in the houses, so you can check that out. Now, somewhere here, there was veggies. I've only got this one. I can't see. There they are. Okay, got it. So there's your gourds. And then, that way you can go and plant more gourds in your settlement. So don't, don't eat them. Actually, put them into the... Um, into the workshop and uh, there, that way you can actually plant them. Okay, I don't think anyone's here. So we just will see if there's anything. Oh look, there's some things that we can use here. Cap stash, all of that is useful. Pick up, wow, okay, the bombs. No, anything else there? And I believe there's something upstairs. So as long as you don't go too far into the settlement, 
um, you're usually okay to just you know, run, rummage around and find a little bit of loot. Now I don't think we've got the skill no advanced. Way. I've only got one lock of this. So at the moment we don't need more lock picks. So hey. I'm gonna put the bandana on the dog. Let's go trade. <laughs> He's growled at me. Okay. Uh, so you see I give the dog a few things. I not only to carry for me but just for the dog itself. So it needs rat away or whatever it might need if it needs anything. It uh, it has them. I think they use super stim packs from memory. So and they use medex. So um, animals will use that if you you give them those things. Here we go. So that is for you and um, equip. There. So now my dog has a red bandana. It looks very cool. Oh, how come I didn't jump? Oh, the button. <laughs> okay, so there's some meds. Uh, nothing else here. Just the bed. Okay. Right, we're fine. We've just nicked off with somebody's stuff. But because they're raiders, they've taken it from someone else anyway. <laughs> um, and this game is all about scavenging. That's what you do. It's how you survive. And then, ultimately, you build and you create things yourself. I'm not going to be able to get up there. So we just can go this way. Right. So here we are at the red rocket and ready to create some things. Um, that looks a bit weird, doesn't it? So that is your armor workbench. And I do need some upgrades, actually. Yeah, here we go. I can make an insulated lining. So always check with your jumpsuit you can actually um your vault suit you can actually get that up quite high to um resist rads and all sorts so uh, keep on increasing that so we'll go modify no what's no miscellaneous insulated lining so my next one i need lead and adhesive okay, fine. Uh, we're going to have to look for those and you can tag them for search if you want right so let's just go dump all this junk junk so we just go okay uh, transfer junk is the Y and we have a fair bit of stuff in this actually what else do I have in here just junk <laughs> and cram cram and junk <laughs> okay was, oh well I can break that down uh, let's see Pipe pistol, I can actually scrap. So I like the revolver, the pipe revolver. Um, you'll see I've got the revolver rifle. That pipe revolver is so amazing. It's just... Yeah, you, you can kill a lot of stuff with that thing for quite a while into the game. So yeah, it's a good thing to find and uh, hang on to. Okay, uh, so what can we do with this place? Right, what I like to do with this place is build out here and uh, build upwards. So build a structure going up that is like a little hotel around. So that's what I like to do and keep the truck. I love keeping this truck. I don't want to move it. It's all part of the whole red rocket thing, the red truck. It looks groovy. And, um, but you know, it's up to you what you do because it gives you lots of steel if you do destroy that truck. I don't think there's anything else I can get rid of here actually. Maybe this tyre, a couple of tyres and so on. Um, I like to leave the bowsers usually, you know, and um, I like to leave at least one of these as a memory of what was. <laughs> okay, so this is the Red Rocket moving on. I am going to sleep till the next day because it's like super duper dark and uh, then we'll continue.
Well, it's not great. It's the same day. I just needed a few more hours to clear up. Eh, it's better than it was. Great. Okay. So, I'm not sure how many resources we actually have here. I might go around and collect a few more. And, uh, and then just start building that little hotel area that I told you about. Plus getting onto the roof is good because you can set up a few things on your roof. Right. Turning off my um, sound now and off my, my microphone and I'll just get on with it.
So the mole rat den behind your red rocket is a particularly good location to scavenge uh, for resources. Uh, <laughs> so the dog has just got his, uh, his little bandana. <laughs> right, so if we look at that, uh, the location is, if you have not found it, is actually just slightly behind. So just head out where the crafting station is at the back um, and just around the rocks there. There's, there's like a, a mild slope or cliff face and just go around to the left of that from here. So you, yeah, you'll find it. It's Don't go too far or you end up in Concord, but just, just around the back. It's really close. It's actually really close. I remember the first time I looked for this place, I couldn't find it. <laughs> but um, it is actually uh, closer than you might expect. So just can grab everything here that you can find. But there's lots of uh, mole rats in here, so. And there's a, a particularly bad one. Um, a glowing mole rat, I think. It does a lot of damage if you're not ready for it. So just use that if you're not, if you're not very good at shooting or, you know, you stress out in, in, in combat situations, just Use VATS. VATS is a really good system um, of, of targeting. There's nothing for me to target at the moment. But um, yeah, using the VATS system, yeah, will get you through many situations that you might not otherwise get through. Yeah, we'll take a broom. Oh, did you see the ground? The ground is moving. Oh, there's some sort of gas there. And just here is um, yeah, quite a few, look at that, a pipe, a, a, okay, a rifle, yep, bayoneted. Hmm, I'll take that off and put it on something else. I'll probably just destroy that thing. I like the revolver, or the pipe revolver. I don't like the pipe pistol so much. All right. Well, we don't need to get everything. We just need enough resources to kind of craft some stuff and uh, get a move on. Now down here is the glowing one. Leg bones, oh yeah, you do actually need those. You do actually need like bone. Really gross, but, <laughs> but it's a helpful resource. There it is. Yep, just there. So I can actually, um, it's gonna jump on it. That system and yeah, that's just by hand, but yeah, you can do the uh, the VAT system for a couple of shots on it. Um, hey. but you get the irradi irradiated blood, which is um, a useful resource as well. So you can come down here and collect that, and uh, actually, it sells for a pretty good price um, if you're trading. Now there's a little secret about things that went on here and if you read the, um, the messages on the Red Rocket computer, then um, you'll have a tip off about something that did happen here. I won't spoil it. You can, <laughs> you can go and uh, check that out. So we've got the coffee cup. Well, ceramic is a useful thing. You need it for making uh, turrets, I think. Right. No more bones. Oh, gruesome, huh? No, we do not want to drink that water. Definitely not. Not looking to become a, uh, a ghoul. <laughs> okay. No? Yes? Yep, it's going to let me have it. Now there's a stack of this. It's just a major gathering spot for all of this, you know, all of this fungus and, um, and the brain fungus, the glowing fungus and miscellaneous resources. And this little safe here, now I have only one lockpick, I think, so let's see if I can, um, I haven't done this for a little while, actually. Mm, oh. oh, let's try the other way. All right, oh, back to me. No! Oh, I have one more. Hooray. Ta-da. Okay, that's it. Took me two lockpicks. Okay, so right away, 
Good find. Uh, grenades, yeah. They, they're useful in some of the fights. Uh, mines, I, I don't use mines. Right away, and silver fork. And silver is useful in certain things too, for, for making uh, particular items. Oh, there we go, we've got a few more down here. I don't see anything else in there. But, you know, if you, you keep looking around, you keep finding stuff in these caves. So, um, yeah, I've come back and found it, you know, things that I didn't find the first time. I, I'm not sure why, maybe they were hidden under something or whatever it is. Especially here, look, see, I came around the other way and now, because I'm walking around from the other side, I've just found something else that I didn't see before. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely, definitely come in here and have a really good look around. Look, is that a cabinet? So sometimes there's things in that cabinet from memory. Hmm. Now this one here, um, not that one, where's the other one? Yeah, this, okay, this is uh, going to give you rads coming in here. See, it's already tipping my rads. Um, so what I might do is, I oh, grilled rad roach, yeah, mmm, tasty. So let's just take a rad, uh, have I got a rad percent preventative? Yeah, rad X. And I can quickly nick in there and grab whatever's in there, if anything. I can't really see anything. What is in here? Oh, there's something. Look, a fusion core. <gasps> That's actually really good. Mm. The rats are coming up pretty high. Oh, there's a pistol. Looks like there's something on the ground there. Is that something? Am I missing it? I'm going to get myself into a... Uh... Oh. Okay. Trash busters. <laughs> Does that like Ghostbusters? <laughs> Trash busters. Okay, I'm just going to leave the rest. I couldn't see anything else. Okay, um, I think I've, I've pretty much cleared this. So go drop this off and um, see what I can make. But yeah, I'm going to have to get a bit more uh, concrete, I think. Which is great. Uh, Abernathy Farm usually has con concrete. So. Connie normally uh, sells concrete. You can only buy 50 though. Hmm, go dump all the stuff. Hmm, okay, in fact, really tasty. Because in the wasteland, you eat rats. Eat rats or die. <laughs> well, you do find better food. <laughs> but, you know, it's a resource. We use it. Okay. Got a couple of rats, but not enough for me to want to take it that way. And I do know where I can get a uh, suit of power armor, but it is a bit of a fight. So I want to have a bit more armor on me before I attempt to get the power armor. I could just make a run for it, but yeah, mm, maybe not. <laughs> okay. The dog is very talkative. Now, how much, how much do I have? 168. Oh, I'm not sure that's going to be enough really to... So I've got the Red Rocket and Sanctuary Hills so far. I can go and get Jumonja and um, the drive-in, Starlight drive-in, um, without having to do too much more actually. So, do I need anything here? I don't think so. All right, let's just get a move on. Be able to gather a bit of this and that on the way. There is a, like a little, Dash up here somewhere, but there are also raiders hanging around here, so you've got to be a bit careful. I already picked that up. Raiders, yeah, there it is. Raiders stash just here. Uh, I've already come and cleaned that out. All right. Wait flies. Hmm? 
Now, there's something here, isn't there? There we go. Right. A um, little stash there. And, uh, let's head over and see Connie. Yep. Potato blossom. Okay, we can get those. And you can actually eat those. You do get a, a couple of, um, rads from them. Not too terrible if you're desperate. Alright, Connie, we need your stuff. I'm not gonna, it's not an armed hold up, it's okay. <laughs> oh, if you don't have a chemistry station yet, um, there is one uh, actually there, but if you don't happen to find it, it's here at Abernathy Farm, just across from the Red Rocket. Okay? And when you come here, these people are friendly, they, they will kind of stop you when you first come here. I thought the cat was dead for a moment there. Goodness me. Okay. Meow. <laughs> We're having a conversation, the cat and I. <laughs> my cats are like, my cat's just like woken up and looking around. Where's that cat coming from? Two of them. <laughs> yes. The cat, it's actually, they must have um, recorded a real cat. There she is. In the veggie patch. Hi, Connie. I don't know how much this will cost. Sorry, we're not hiring. Try down at Warwick Homestead. Oh, no, your daughter hey, gave me a job. Looking to make a deal? Okay. Um, so, we're going to barter. Sure. And let's see what she has. So, I can actually buy corn and plant some corn as well. Uh, it's not such a bad idea, but I, I do actually need... I do actually need um, some of this stuff. So how much does she want for that corn? 12, well let's see what I can get here first. Cloth, concrete's gonna cost me 300 and I don't have enough. I'm not sure if I have anything to sell her. That's the other option. I mean, look, I just picked up a pipe pistol, value of 10, it's not worth it. Um, oh, the mine gives me 25, yeah. Four grenades, I might hang on to those for the fight that I'm com that's coming up. Um, hmm, this one is 23. Do I hang on to it or not? Uh, I'm just going to break it down for some parts. Hmm, I don't know. Hmm, I'm not sure. I think I'll just sell it at this stage because I am going to find more stuff. So, the drifter outfit, do I need it? I think I'm just going to stick with what I've got. A hard hat. Yeah, I'm going to sell that. And I've got this little blue dress I might keep. Welding goggles. I don't need, so. What can I sell? Um, you can make some uh, different things and sell those. See what I mean by the irradi irradiated blood is... is uh, sells like it's sold for as much as the pistol so you can go and collect that you know every other day really right i think that refills itself that cave every three to four days something like that in the game so you can just you know you know build those up uh what's that action points is it I don't really need them. I don't actually, aside from vats, I don't use action points that much because I'm not doing melee. If you're doing melee, you need it. So I have done melee playthroughs, but this is, um, I'm just using vats on this one. Vodka, I don't actually need it. Um, I'm just carrying it around. And there's lots of stuff I'm going to find. The wild mute fruit, I don't need that either, and I'm happy to sell it. And that gives me a bit more money to deal with. So. Um, all right, so we're going to accept. So that's 303. That's oh, I won't have much left, right? So <laughs> but I'm happy to have my concrete, so let's just go with it. Hmm, <laughs> what else can I sell her that I don't need? Hmm, let's see, gotta be something. Hub flower. See, I, oh, no, I'm going to pick more there down at the creek. 
Uh, I'll keep that. If there's anything I don't want, she can have it. See, these sugar bombs, um, they will refill, what's that, hit points. Okay, not action points. Oh, so in three, pull out three, it's action points. In this one, it's hit points. Okay, well, I'm not going to use them. So they can go and those can go. The thistle at this stage I won't be using, so I'm happy to get myself just a tiny bit of money back. And uh, also you can sell ammo. If you're not using the ammo, you can sell that too. I'm keeping the fusion core because I know where a, um, uh, what do you call, a suit is. So I can go get that. Brain freeze. Shotgun shells. I don't have a shotgun at the moment, so let's just get the, the money. Done. Is there anything else I can get from her that's useful? Apart from the corn, but it's not useful at this stage because I have, um, I'm going to be picking that up anyway, finding it around. And, you know, there's not really any point in me like having that right now. What is useful is... Let me see. Potatoes, not potato flowers, but actually potatoes <laughs> themselves. So I've got 52. I'm going to hang on to it, and I don't think I need anything else right now. You could, uh, you can just take, uh, harvest some of these plants if you want to, and uh, plant some of the potatoes. I actually picked them up from the ground. So when you come in here, there's some on the ground, so you don't have to like you know raid the bush. Just pick pick it up off the ground if it's available to pick up. And uh, so the game actually lets you take a few resources back to your settlement. Um, so that's going to help when you get your people in. Uh, it's definitely going to be of assistance. I knew you would help us, Miss Abernathy. Thanks for agreeing to help. So I think I was picking people would offer help to strangers. I have to go and um kill the raiders and retrieve the locket and all of that. So I think Lucy, I can sell this. Here to collect the caps for the melons you gathered? Yeah. Sell yeah. the melons. Here you go. Great. Thanks for your help. Okay. Another twenty one caps. I'll take it. Now, there is, um, there is like a, a little hut around here, but do be careful because there are some uh, bees and things that attack you. I think it's over this way. But you can see Starlight Drive-In. Uh, it's not too far away. Yeah, it is here. And I can grab hub flower. There you go. I sold them and I now have them back in an instant. So they're used for crafting chemical. It's a great chemical component. Is that the hut? That's the hut down there. Okay. So if you want to know if anything's around, you just um, click the, the left the left bumper on this one, on the um, Xbox controller. So it's different on different, depending on what you're on, PC or a PlayStation or whatever. So um, on the Xbox controller, yep, you just want to hit that and Activate your bat at any time to see what's ahead. See how that works? <laughs> so I can in fact use my rifle. Too much damage. A bit of rad damage. So the bats is best because they fly around all around, all around, over the place, and they're just 
really annoying to hit. Um, otherwise, you can use your um, your melee weapon. But I like to have a super sledge if I have one. <laughs> if I'm doing melee, a super sledge is pretty good. Tire ah. iron, which isn't particularly great. That's all I have for now. Is that the one I did get? So yeah, there's lots of bugs around here. Maybe I'll just use the melee. Right, well I'm just here to get the stuff. So, let's just see what I can find in here. All useful. Now, I think there's roaches or something that attack. Place those pillows into your um onto your beds. You know you can uh, you can drag them back by hand <laughs> to your settlement and, and place them on the bed if you so desire. So oh rads, but if we're quick, oh look at this huge. Oh no, no get me out there. <laughs> So probably worth taking a rad X, I guess. Not really having too much of a bad time, but um, I'll take a rad away and let's just, um, yeah, let's just get rid of the problem. Drink some water. I'll take one of those and I'm just gonna go and see if I can get in there. It could be something useful. That's probably my last one. No, I do have another one. No. Hmm. Which way is it? No, back a bit further. I think I'm on it. Got it. Sweet. And a million lat. A million reds later. <laughs> no, there we go. That's it. All done. <laughs> so we need resources. That's essentially the problem. That um, I'm coming to a point where I need resources. So I'm just running around now, looking for them. And of course, there is a. An area up here, but I think there's a robot up here and a, a few things that are a bit harder to fight. The system of swapping weapons is a little awkward. I kind of want to just hit it and automatically equip. Which um, isn't what's happening. So there is some stuff in here, but I think it's ghouls, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so we have an issue with ghouls in this place. Wicked shipping. There's a lot of stuff there, though. Um, is it worth? Is it worth it at this early stage? I don't know. I think there could be a problem. I'm sure, I will survive. need to be on that because I can't see my sights. So there we go. Tin can. So you get aluminium cans and things and you can actually activate this little guy to go around and clean up the place, which is not a bad idea. Oh okay.
<laughs> a likeness of zero. Of course they're not going to make it that easy. That's got a P in it. One. Try as we said. Dud removed. Hmm. Something like draw. H O T. Maybe. There's nothing similar there. Beam, B E A M, no, E was in the first one. Ah. Okay. Easiest way is come out and just click through. And that, I believe, is there you are. Okay, so if you see that, that's a tries reset, and I've got one more there, I think. Yep, I've got another prize we said if I, if I mess up. No T. Zero. And go for a tries we said. Error. No, nope, that's dud removed. Oh. Do I keep going? I don't want to get locked out. Oh, this is a bother, isn't it? I did it again. Nope. Let me see, what is it? Piles, lush, make, raid, flee. Flee? No. <laughs> Look for a tries reset somewhere, maybe here. Dud removed, okay. Read. It rhymes. <laughs> okay, this is just a little frustrating. I'm not sure if I can be bothered doing this. I'm trying to do some building. <laughs> Has locked me out now. Okay, well, I might be getting into that terminal. Heads up. I think that's my first ever lockout. <laughs> See if he had anything worth taking. I didn't realize I was giving the dog a command. Oh, there you go. Well, you raid it. You raid the ghoul. I don't have to do it. You do it. <laughs> so I have my first ever lockout of a computer live on stream. That's good. And when I'm trying to build too, I'm not even trying to do combat. I just want stuff so I can continue building this chemistry station. You can't take it with you though. Can't jump up there either. Really got to get my skill level up. That's terrible. I hit that a lot of times. Oh, I can hear music. Uh oh, where's the radio? I don't want to kind of end up with a copyright strike for some music. Okay, so maybe coming in here is not such a good idea. Even though I want to get stuff, I'll just try some of the things out here. Oh, there's another one. There's some things in there. Aha! Okay. No, see? So it works if I get really close. 
in crouch, super close. I'm getting up, getting the shots, but for some reason it's not getting me shots even though I'm hitting. Alright, well, interesting to know. No, I don't want to activate, I want to turn the radio off because I can hear it again. Can you hear it? I've grabbed a few things, I'm gonna make a runner. Yeah, we can't have um we can't have that music, that's copyrighted music, so Unfortunately, even with the settings of music switched off, it still plays. I don't know why that is, but it should just turn everything off. <laughs> There's got to be some way to do that. Surely that, that you know, the developers can make a fix to just do that for, for people, that you can turn all the music off in the game. Especially for people who are trying to stream on Twitch, it's not, not easy. All right, well, I don't want to get eaten by a rad scorpion. I do want to get back to my home. There's Abernathy Farm. Now, there is sunshine trading and there is, of course, the drive-in. And uh, so now I've gathered a bit of this and that. I can get back to my settlement. What? Why is my dog in trouble? Where are you, dog? Oh my gosh, now we've got blood bugs. Okay. Yeah, my rifle's not very good. I'm um not in case with a rifle at all. Yay! Finally. That worked. Where's the other one? Maybe I try to do it. Can I just impact the ball? <laughs> that is why you use that. So if you find that um, third person makes you dizzy, it's sometimes better to be in the first person view. So that's why I'm in first person. Actually, that makes a really good stake. Uh, that heals you a lot. So always collect from the blood bugs because you'll, you'll get stuff that's going to help you. So Doggy is carrying his own stim packs as well. Down here, there is another trader, which... Uh, there's a little quest to get that trader though, so... Um, I was hoping to just find a bit of this and that. I might um I might just hop it back home in a moment. I think that's sunshine up there, isn't it? Sunshine trading across this bridge. Hmm. Lots of ghouls, once again. Ghouls everywhere. Bit of a ghouly quest. All right. So, whoa. Who's this? Alexa. Hi, Alexa. Are you somebody I want to talk to? Or are you going to cause me trouble? You look like you could use a little pick-me-up. Am I right? Oh, okay. Sure. Let's see what you got. Exactly what you need. Great, I found a trader right there. Uh, and maybe I can sell some things and uh, earn some more money and that way, see this pipe pistol even? And that way I'll have some money to buy some resources. So for the settlement, Connie is you, one of the best people. Until you can build your own stores, the, um, it's just go trade with Connie. Or people like this that you find out in the wasteland here and there. So some of this stuff I'm just never ever going to be using. I won't use the tar berry. <laughs> um, I'll keep some of these. Mm. Um, you'll notice that some of the things you collect in rubbish are actually worth a fair bit. 
So you might want to decide to just sell them and then just buy uh, the resource separately. Just depends on, on you know what, you, what you're looking for. So what do they have exactly? I'm not sure how many rounds I actually have. That's a good question. Uh, oh, I've got plenty of 10 mil. I'm good. I see. Uh, a medic, some jet, psycho. Yeah, see how expensive that is? So once you start making those yourself, um, <laughs> if you want to, <laughs> you'll find that, yeah, you definitely... Mm. I can get a melon for 12 and I can just go and plant that actually rather than stealing because I don't like taking from Connie. I do like the Abernathys. I, I don't like you know doing something mean to them. So I'm, I'm happy to do that. Uh, I don't need any of these other things. Buff out is a good one to have. I usually carry buff out around. Um, so I end up making my own chems though, mostly. Jet. Yeah, they sell those for a hundred. That, that's that's pretty exe. So, yep. I don't mind. That's fine. Who's this person anyway? Hi. So. Back off. Back off. Don't worry. I'm not gonna try anything. Oh sure. That's what they all say before pulling a gun. Already got a gun. <laughs> but I couldn't even kill a ghoul with it. So <laughs> you're probably gonna survive. <laughs> Hey if you're not here for the good stuff, get lost. Ooh, I see. A bit of attitude. All right, let's see what we've got up here, and then I, I might just uh, fast travel to the red rocket once we're done. So I don't mind tagging this on my map, and I come back for it. We're at Sunshine Trading. Yay! <laughs> All right. Now, I don't want to um, do anything, and the reason is because there is a Minutemen quest in here. So I don't want to interfere with that. I'm going to go uh, craft, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, the bloke, yeah, bloke part. Um, will it let me do it? There's a grey back the other way. Bloodbug steak. I thought I just got that. Oh, okay. I must have got something else off it. So it does give you plus 15 max health for an hour. So if you kill some blood bugs and you get the meat off them, um, I'm not sure what resource I got, but it wasn't that. Really, it's not letting me do it. But I did get the bloke ply, so that's okay. As long as I've got something, some kind of health up, that's fine. They're wild, I think. Wild tiny blossoms. Yeah, I, there are ghouls everywhere in here. Okay, dead one. All right, so yay! I can grab some things off them. Ah, uh, yep, red roach. Let's not disturb anything. I just want to get back. Chuck these in to. Using the wrong button to jump. Pop them into my workshop and let's see what else we can do at the red rocket. That is the way. Let's go. I should be far enough away from that enemy. Okay, so yeah, I've got to go there. Uh, we'll get some armor there actually. Um, off the raiders. But yeah, it's a bit of a fight to get started and I'm not very pleased with my pistol, my um, rifle. I need a scope on my rifle, it just wasn't, yeah, it was just a bit, mm, a bit weak. So I want to go back to Red Rocket, don't I? There we go. Let's go there. Yes.
Heads up. How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy. Think you can find something for me? What do you think? Any bad guys around, buddy? So this is a feature you can use with the dog, actually. Um, you can get them to, to search, but like while you're busy searching, you can uh, get the dog to go around and look for stuff in the location. And he'll find you things. If there's anything around, looking for enemies. <laughs> Transfer. There we go. All done. Now, what can I do with this thing? Pi bayoneted pipe revolver rifle. Now, I was not at all happy with that. I just didn't get any for them. So. Um, standard sights. Hmm. What do I need for a scope? So, I'd rather get. A long scope would be fine to start. Um, I need an another aluminium and I need some screws. Okay, so I guess I could break down something when I find it. I won't worry about it right now though. There's no point bothering with that right now. Okay, now, oh, let's just look manually at the workshop and. Um, so I don't have anything, I've got one bed, I don't have any water, so I've, I've got very little here so far. So it's pretty much cleaned up a lot of stuff, but we're starting pretty much from scratch here. So if I go to there, I can see, um, do I have wood? I'm not sure how much of it I have. Two hundred ninety-six. Okay. Steel, 163. So I might be able to make a structure outside with that amount of, um, of resource. All right, let's see. Okay. Plus, I think there's a pallet down here I, I haven't picked up yet. I might just be able to pick it up. It's sticking through. And I have a tree there. Yeah, a dead tree. That'll do. Let's get rid of those. That gives us more wood. Nothing else here. my building area so I don't really want any of these trees. It's a very small space I guess. So you've just got to try and make the most of the space. I'll probably just build over the top of this. <laughs> Strange as that sounds. Over the top of the grass because there's no way to get rid of it. <laughs> mm. Okay, well that's a start. Now, I do need water, something or other. So, just a standard water pump. And uh, then down the track I can actually get some settlers as well. Alright. I don't want to use too many resources. Mm, I need to do... Must have some light. So I have a little bit of concrete. I'm not sure how much these are. Let's see. If I make a wall, how big is that? How much is that? Eight. 
Okay, so I've got 50 concrete. I can make a few things, a few walls and, and what have you. Um, floors. So that's going to cost me some steel plus some concrete to make that floor. Uh, hmm, is that what I want to do though? Do I want to make a floor like that? And plus, I can do that for less. If I go to barn, I think it is. I think if I go to barn, it only costs me eight concrete. So that's actually a better deal, I think. All right, well, I'm happy to create a, a kind of a wall here of concrete to get rid of this ugly dead um, foliage. All right, so that's going to be most of my concrete gone, but I've got wood, so I'm too worried. Oh, yeah? Um, I want one up there, I'm not sure. But I do want this one here for sure. Definitely. And now I want to use barn floors. Probably. Fine. There we go. And I'll put some stairs. Or, uh, alternatively, I can use these things. That's the fault. The scaffolding will be fine. You can just line those up. Along, and then I can have a floor. One of those isn't quite right. That looks a bit weird. Doesn't want to reconnect. Oh, there we go. That might be okay. A little bit of fiddling to kind of get them just so. For now, I can always like really fuss with it later just to get the absolute basic design set. Okay. Sorry, just checking on the uh, checking on the animals here. Right. So, okay. floors no I do however want was the barn floor I'm doing so let's do that let's put a barn floor down that'll be fine and get it to sit and then the other one to sit do that Now, you can, if you want to, put a stump under there. Um, if you're fussy, I'll show you where the stump is. There. So you can pop that down uh, into the ground. The other way. Oh, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope, it doesn't want to play. So, well, I suppose it's not so much of a big deal that it's sticking out. <laughs> game doesn't seem to care. Right, so anyway, we want here, let's get a doorway. Um, that one looks okay. Yeah, that one's okay. There we go. So, a double door or a single door? 
I'm going to give it a double door. And this one can be, um, hmm, probably the easiest staircase is just this one here. It just works for everything. So if I turn that around, like the settlers just usually don't have any trouble getting up the stairs if you put this staircase there. So no problem at all. And what about this one? We don't need it there. Okay, good. So that's that sorted. Um, and I guess I can make some doors. Uh, so it's red, maybe hmm, what sort of doors? We can make screen doors. The screen doors are nice. There we go. All right. Uh, now I might build out to the side here, so I'm not going to do anything else. Oops. I'm not going to do anything else with that just yet. Which way is that open? This way. Okay, up we go. Now, as you can see, you still have some vegetation poking through, right? So, but this is a platform after um, upon which you can start to build up higher, I guess. You know, something, <laughs> whatever it is. Okay, now we can see the problem. All right, so once again, everything's not quite joining up. So let's, uh, I might just fix that and... Um, I can get those to join to this a bit better. Yeah, it's very fussy, isn't it? So um, I think my best bet is just, let's just pop these over here. That can go there for now. That can go anywhere. Anywhere will do. I don't care. will do. And uh, let's fix these. So that is in line, but not where it should be. Not where it should be at all. Okay, so I can put it there for now. All right, so fiddling. It, it is going to go into place, but it's just a whole lot of fiddling. And uh, there is a railing. I'm not sure if it'll sit well on this side. Don't think we need it. Just it's a nice little platform there. How about that? There we go. Um, that one is a problem. Yeah, it doesn't want it. There might be something just in the way slightly. So, let's leave it be for now. I'm not sure what's in the way. go with that. That looks pretty good. No, that one doesn't want to join. So that'll do. Okay, no problem. That'll, that'll be fine. Whichever way around they go. So do me. And I do have some vegetation coming through that. And now this is crooked actually. You see that? That's crooked. So yeah, unfortunately we're going to have things around the place. And this is the good thing about this building system. You can actually just shift things around and it doesn't matter. You know? <laughs> so let's just get this all sorted out. You have to go somewhere. That'll do. Now let's get organized here. This is not so, uh, maybe like that. Oh, no, go back. I'm trying to jump and I'm hitting the A button because <laughs> of the game I've been playing on. <laughs> it's the A button. So, keep hitting it, and then, uh, of course, you fall through, you start falling through things. <laughs> Just, it's slightly confusing. Yeah, unless you, uh, it's not very funny when you fall too far, though. Because you end up actually damaging your character. Right. Okay, so let's get this thing into place. Again. Aha. And 
I can get up there easily, which means the settlers won't get stuck. Yay! I can go there. Yep. Well, actually, you can make a little uh, another little area. Is that crooked again? <gasps> okay. Yeah. Yep. See there. This is what I was saying before that the the lines, the grid lines, are a bit weird. And <laughs> okay, so I thought I had that straight, but I clearly did not. How did I not? Uh, I'm not sure what the deal is, but that's not quite right. So how about? to get this one dead on and then stick the other one on. That might work. Okay. That's better, I think. That's a bit of a shift. That will have to do. So do I want it to open out or in? Uh, it's up to you. I might make it open inward. Okay. What you can do to make it open whichever way you like is um, to do the door like that. So make sure the door is on an angle. And it should attach. No, oh, it doesn't want to. Right, let's see which way you're going. So if I open it, right now I should be able to adjust. Right, so it has to be open. There we go. That's the deal. You've got to have it open and then it will go to there. Whichever way you like. Okay, so those doors go inwards. I have a little bit of space with a green line there. Um, but if I go too far, I won't be able to build over. So I can't put a railing and all the other things that I might want to do. Uh, I can put generators underneath here and run the wiring up the sides. Okay, so that can be quite useful. One, two, good. There we go. All sorted. So now, uh, back to barn. I would like, in fact, a floor, not a roof. Well, no, wait up. Not one of those floors, one of those floors. And if I can get a second level floor, is that. No, not on this one, okay. Oh, that's all right, just a regular floor will be fine. And I can build on top. There we go. So, but what I will have to do, create a staircase. Um, because otherwise you can't get, you won't be able to move and get up there. So. So settlers can get up through there, no problem. But, um, yeah, indeed, once I, if I'd make any adjustments, there it's going to be that I'll have to have platforms coming up in uh, alignment with that. Or just make that a kind of like a big entrance way. Um, the way I would do that, actually, I'll show you, is just to do this and make it a high roof. So... No, don't want to do it. Well, the other way then. But if it wants to go, why do you want to do that? It's annoying. Go that way. Not that it really matters, but I suppose. Sight lines and all. We could do that. And just run a roof from, from there or run... Um, More floors up the top. That way. No, not that way. Why does it want to go that way? I have no idea. It wants 
two. Do a really weird thing, so let's do that and then put those on. Okay, so that's another way you can do it, is just make a high ceiling. And then we come across here. Um, yeah, it gives you a, a stack of options to keep building here if you're going to, because I like to build a hotel kind of structure here. So uh, this is the beginnings of my structure. I can, of course, make the floors a whole lot prettier if I want to. Um, this is my feature. I like to have like a little feature room, a window area where you can see the truck and light the truck up, which is really nice. Um, and with this, I think you can have, um, it's not this one though, it is warehouse, where you will find the walls that are glass. And those are perfect for sight lines. I'm not sure I have enough glass, but always check because some of them have broken glass. So I don't want one with broken glass. <laughs> ah, so that can go there. There we go. So you can see the truck from wherever you are. And I'm just happy to, to do that. And there is my sight line, little viewing area to the truck. And I'll probably just keep on going actually with the. Um, with my block here. I'm not sure how much more cement I've got left. Oh yeah, I've got enough. So that, that was plenty from Connie. She gave me a stack of cement really. So that's it, that, I'm out now. But 50 cement has made my foundation. So yeah, it's, it is worth getting it. It is worth paying that little bit of money just to get the cement um, on this particular site because until you have, um, until you have a trading route between the sites, you um, don't have, it won't, uh, it won't share your stuff, so you have to cart things from one to the other, which isn't too bad, but it is just easier to get uh, one of the traders to deliver it directly to your workshop. Okay, so I like the idea of building with the red, the barn red for the red rocket. I kind of, I, I really do get into that idea. I think that's going to come up nicely. Um, back to my warehouse now. And um, I think this is a, a really nice viewing area. I'm going to put some more windows across this side. And I don't think that there's any point in me building out. It's just going to be potentially an issue. I don't know, you know, getting behind it for this and that could become a problem. I could make a veranda going out, of course. As you can see, I can get just on the edge. Um, but it can become a, a bit of an issue for building. So if you're going to do that, you might want to um, just use these and make maybe just the nice little kind of veranda walkway area something like that because I'm not going to get much more see I've, a tiny, I've only got a tiny tiny bit of space there uh, so yeah uh, balcony now for railings you can come to the scaffolding area if you do have enough steel you'll be able to make these railings nice big Nice big railings, or you can make wooden railings depending on the look you're going for. I'm not sure how much wood we have left, but the wooden railings are in this uh, first area of structures. And if you go to the miscellaneous, you'll find all these different ones here, and they are quite nice to build with. So um, you can use, they're like little farm fences, but they look quite nice. Uh, you can decide which way around you want them to be. Um, and they're also really good. These, I like this one at the moment. So it gives you a lot of protection if you if you do come under attack. 
you can actually duck down behind these and uh, it will give you plenty of protection. So, yeah. So let's enclose this little veranda area, just like that. So we can look out or we can shoot either way. Uh, and the, the thing to do is build a staircase. I mean, we've got enough room. We can build a structure, a little staircase going up to the next level. Um, and I do have enough to be able to do that, as you can see. Um, I can, yeah, I can go from, from here. Or from there, depending, you know, depends. I can go that way. It, yeah, it matters a lot. Uh, so you can make an internal or external staircase, as you please. Uh, might be an idea to just go this way, I think. I think that'll make a good staircase. And then I just need a, um, some stairs here, leading up to it. And that is always very good. There we go. And so now we are up at the next level. I'm not sure if that's high enough for this, but I suppose, maybe, is it just, yeah, but then, I mean, look, if it's not high enough, you just use one of those, one of the small ones, one of these, and that will get you up to the next, um, the next level. So you can just put that on. <laughs> Where it is. Why don't you put a platform there? So let's try it. Uh, so like I said, it is a lot of trial and error. You don't, yeah, you don't, you can't get precious about building. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> you make the, boast, the, the best of what you can find. And, um, I guess I'll put that there for now, for the sake of it. And this is, this is where you start to have a bit of a, mm, no. I did get myself through there though. So, you can have weird floating structures in this game too. You don't necessarily have to have like, <laughs> the foundations don't really matter so much, which is a relief in a way, you know. <laughs> you can just make all sorts of wild looking buildings. Uh, now, I will want to have a wall there. So, if I put a wall there, it's gonna help me to find where I'm at. Um, I might just put a, just one plain kind of wall. There we go. Alright. So that way I can I can see kind of what level I want to build to. Uh, I might run out of glass. I'm not sure I'll have enough to make these windows along the way. Yeah, I will just. Nope, it wants to go that way. Or that way. Hmm. Okay, that's the strangeness of this game. So, why does it not want to flip around? It won't flip around. No. That's not going to flip around. Okay, so I have a strange dilemma. Let me try these. I don't like these windows as much though, because they're broken. <laughs> so they don't look very nice. <laughs> I think I'll skip it. Uh, just have to go with the wacky back to front windows for now. I can always replace them down the track. So let's just do a wacky back to front thing. Well, that's just to get started anyway. And I need my floor. There we go. So a warehouse floor um, or a barn floor. I think I'm going to go for barn floor. It's less resources usually. There we go. Okay, great. So if I do that, oh gosh, now I'm falling through the floor again. Why button to jump? Gee, it drives me crazy. Now get on the other game and I'm pressing the Y button instead of the A button. <laughs> So as you can see, that's going to be a slightly different height. Um, so in order to get on the roof here, I will most likely, I'll just want to put one of these guys out, like so, and then put 
my stairs. So you come around and then you get to step up onto there, essentially, uh, with the stairs. So there we go. Oh, back to my starter house area. Um, a bit hard for you to see that, isn't it? Let's go on the, on the black, see how I've got that. I'll show you where I got that in case you're not sure. Here. And go along to the stairs and to the little stairs and they should click into position just spin them around there you are. problem solved and we're back we're up on the top all right so we've got a nice little walkway uh the staircase going up and we can continue our build and you can do um Quite a few levels actually I think here so not as high as Abernathy I think Abernathy is the highest you can build um, might be wrong there's one uh, there is one other build which is on a bridge and um, it's on a, a highway bridge so that's really high you can build very high on that so I should be able to get quite a few levels upwards um, for my little hotel and I can actually kind of build it across as well and uh, down here I could even make a nice little garden area or recreational area on top of the red rocket you know all kinds of ideas there's lots of things that you can do so yeah I, I don't know why it wouldn't place no it, it really won't place strange isn't it okay never mind well it's just wanting to do that <laughs> Okay, so I need a doorway. So I would like this doorway and I want my windows again. Am I out of glass? Yes, I've just run out of glass, okay. Am I out of steel? No. So what I can do is just put that there so this can be the feature area and I'm going to start with the wood on top of here so that I, I really would prefer it to be the pretty little glass like greenhouse style um, which means I mean we can even plant a, a little something or other in there or put plants around to make it look like a, a greenhouse uh, now we do need stairs there, right? So that's looking a bit weird and we kind of, um, we need something. Now the concrete stairs are really nice, but the thing is you need obviously full concrete to make that. What I can do immediately, of course, is adjust these wooden stairs. I am able to just do these. Or these ones are even better and they stack a bit better across. So that your people can just like walk up quite easily into this area so yeah we can make this the, the doorway just here uh, if I can no not that one the other one let's find a doorway there that'll do come on yeah, it has to be back to front because it just doesn't want to go. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got a nice little doorway. Our hall. And uh, even put a little doorway this way. There we go. And that is your little veranda recreational area. I can put some chairs on here and all sorts. So. We need doors. That's not very nice, is it? Oh, that's a nice door. That'll do. I don't mind a little warehouse door. Looks okay. Uh, you can go to doors, and there's a, a variety of different ones. So, because it's the red rocket, we might do red doors. Right. How are we going? So got a little veranda area that um, going into this zone 
And then this one goes out to the veranda. And you can see from here. And if you had a sniper rifle, you could probably shoot a few raiders. <laughs> if you can see them, you can shoot them, right? <laughs> Where's my gauss rifle when I need it? <laughs> okay. So getting somewhere. Now what else can I make? Let's have a look. I need a roof on this for a start. I'm going to run out of stuff though. That's the thing. Like, you know, you have limited resources and you have to go collect more. Uh, that's it's not a never-ending thing you do have to continually continue continually gather your resources probably have to turn the floors around a little the same way and <laughs> do all that kind of fussing but there we go that'll do me for now okay ah I wonder if that should open out I don't know if it matters really. Okay, um, and to get this sorted, it's possible to do a half wall. So even in plain wood, I think you can do it. That doesn't look really nice, but it is a half wall. There's a wooden half wall, and I should be able to um, fit it. There we go, on top of that. And that, that makes up the size. I won't block that bit, but I will, I want the red on the outside. Oh, there we go, okay. So that makes up that size. Uh, and another thing, you know, you can, um, you can use this for all kinds of utility. Like you could plant some things underneath there, literally. <laughs> Just, you know, sticking out the side and all the way around but your settlers will get stuck in there that's the only issue um, if you want to you can close it off it doesn't matter uh, just put a wall there either any of these will do and just close it but ma it doesn't matter to me right now I'm not too worried about it so um, yeah happy to just keep it as is and maybe, um, yeah, maybe continue my, my glass wall thing here. I think I'm out of uh, steel. I'm not sure I have very much of that left. Oh, I do have a bit. There we go. So, yeah, I think I will. I think I'll just close that off. And let's just... Uh, I don't want to go outside. Yeah, these are not very nice. The windows are not very pleasant. So, I'm happy to just have this. I'm happy to just close this off here. So much to see that we can't see from the upstairs. All right, done. So that's coming along. How many more of these can I do? So I have that now. I can drop this down so it's at the same level. Although those are sideways, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, let's turn that around. Just rotate. Okay. Voila. And now. My half walls will actually go um, there. Where was it again? I think I've gone past there. Okay, half wall. Is that it? Yes, there it is. Okay, uh, why is it going that way? No, it doesn't want to attach. Okay, it's going to attach there, and this is the strangeness. Now it won't reach properly. Hmm. Yet again, the puzzle. <laughs> so the puzzle is there we are. 
If it goes that way, it seals. If it goes the other way, it doesn't. Go figure. I think it was clicking to the outside of that roof area or something bizarre. So anyway, that's done. That's sealed. So we've now got an enclosed space, except for there. There's always something. And so I've got the same issue again where I need it to seal. If it sticks to this one, it might. No. No, nope, it doesn't want to do it. I want to stick to the top either. Uh, yeah, okay, that was it, but it's not reaching the top. So that's a, a weird thing. I'm not sure why that is occurring. Hmm. Hmm. How to think one, that one out. So that's, yeah, that's going to be a little bit tricky, isn't it? Let me try from the outside. I'm just going to do a little seal it from up here. That looks a bit better, but I don't think it's closed properly. So I have to do a fix. Weird, huh? Right. So maybe I can do a fix with this on the... Yeah, there we go. Uh, that'll do me. Like, I actually don't mind if I have to put these ones along. I might have to go the two of those. No, it's not going to sit. Once again, it's a puzzle, isn't it? There we go. Uh, <laughs> back into the back into the puzzle we go. Uh huh. No, there's no way to cheat that. I have to just might have to get up. Oh, that was something, but it wasn't what I wanted. I want to seal the inside of the room. Ah, oh, that's gonna go out the side. Mm. Okay, strangeness again. No, okay, not not what I want either. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's a hole that I'm going to have to come back and attempt to seal from uh, you know, uh, maybe the other side. I don't know. That's going to be a bit of a tricky one. I'm getting dizzy trying, so we'll just leave that for now. Like, okay, we'll come back to it. I'll come back to that one. Now, do I want anything that I can see out of here? Not really. I don't really need to. So I would have. I'm happy to just have my walls of safety around me here in case of a settlement attack. Let's do that. Let's just keep that nice and safe and closed off. Um. Hmm. Which I think might work if I drop this down. There you go. Aha. Right, that's fine. I'm happy to just seal it off as it is. Uh, I might be able to get a piece that is on an angle. There are all kinds of shapes. Oh, what about that one? There's another one going the other way. Yeah. That has to go like that. Uh, not quite, almost. Almost. That's kind of it. What about that? That's it. But will it sit in there? That is the question. And no. Again, I think it's one of these weird things where it goes around the other way. <laughs> Let's see. Ah. Uh, can't get it to. It's what I need, but yep. Yeah, I mean, look, that's fine. I really, we just don't want them to be able to like sneak through or um, just 
be bothersome in any way so You have to have a lot of patience to build, by the way. <laughs> Did I mention that? <laughs> okay, so I was hoping I could get one of these ones in there, which would be perfect. But it won't sit in the right place. What about a larger one? Oh, there we go. Look, I don't care. That's going to have to do. Right, so we've now got the next level, we can walk all the way along and I can now build a staircase up there if I want to. Um, it's going up above the truck so that the truck is a centrepiece, which is what I want. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I think it's going to work out. I think it'll work out and I can extend all the way out here, all the way out here. I can make that hotel area uh, come out this way and I can have gardening on top. I can make a garden on top of it and whatever I need. So, but I will need more resources. I don't think I have enough. I'm going to have a look, but I don't think so. I think I've really run them down now. So. Let's have a look at what I've got. Um, if I go here, I can see how much wood have I got left and how much uh, steel, which are two of the things, concrete, wood and steel, you're going to need heaps of if you're building structures. So steel, I probably have very little left. 61, not too bad. Okay, I can keep going. I can keep going with steel. Wood, I've only got 50, right? So not great I'll burn through that super fast so I would like to uh, yeah have a baseline of what around about I prefer to have about 200 of each resource if possible it just to not have to be interrupted while you're building but we did get a fair bit out of that um, as you can see there's you know we've really started getting a structure together um, which is the main idea now can we can we put carpets down? Can we do anything else with this right now? I don't know, but we can have a look. Uh, decorations, we want to go to floor coverings. Let's see what we can do. So, um, yeah. The red rocket. Have we got a red carpet for the red rocket? Yes, of course we do. Right, so. I get one red carpet. Well, I better put it in the best position, which is where all this stuff is. There we go. <laughs> so at least we've got some something nice to walk on. <laughs> Roll out the red carpet. But uh, yeah, that's all we got out of that. No, not very much. <laughs> so we actually, at the moment, can't make much. Um, decorations. Can I? make some lighting so there's plants I can make plants but I need all the stuff I need fertilizer and I don't have that right now um, a fireplace oh, oil five I need one so I will place that soon but um, not just yet um, the gas can thing we think one of those out the back somewhere right so anyway I would actually like to have my little street lighty thing uh, I'm going to put it somewhere where I can see quite nicely and let's put one here so we can see the truck lit up too. There we go, okay. And that's not turned around properly. Alright. So, there is a very, very basic beginning to our creation. And of course we can have one out there or even better we need one down here so um let's just put something there oh oh 
yeah, little lanterns, you can hang those too, actually. No, back the other way. Yes. Okay. So there we are. There we have it. Where are my doors? Did I put the doors on? I did, didn't I? Yes. Let's have a look at this thing. So the problem with the bottom of this, um, or this whole area, problem with it is, and the reason I want to build it up on concrete is these bushes cannot be removed, right? You have to get a, um, a mod to get rid of them. So that's why it's better just to build up on, on a concrete block. And even so, I still have them coming in. <laughs> you might even want to do two levels concrete, you know, and just like build it up heaps higher. Um, I don't care too much. I mean, I'm just going to chuck that there for now, but it will go upstairs. Um, it'll do. I, I'm not too fussed at the moment. I guess what I can do is move it into the, um, the Red Rocket building. But I quite like the little station as it is, the little gas station. Yes, and we have a, a pretty good view of uh, Concord from here. So we can even snipe some enemies down there, and I don't think my sniper rifle works very well. So, having tried it before, I was not impressed. <laughs> so I can pull it out, but see, I don't have a scope. If I had a scope, I think, yeah, here we go. And it takes a lot of action points, actually. Did I get it? No. 32, so I've got to keep it. Surely we'll be able to hit that. Okay, I'll hit him. Not again. So, yeah, as far as the um, using bats, this, the pistol is better in bats. I actually get more out of the pistol. So, Got it. Okay. So, did we get. No, see, we're getting blood sacked with the proboscis or whatever it is. I can't even say it. <laughs> Probosics. <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, do we get meat? No. Pro boss six. Yes. Proboscis. Proboscis. Right? Did I get that right? There we go. Proboscis. Hmm. Okay. Some chemistry thing. Anyways. Got to shoot. Got to get some skill. Uh, can't cook that though, unfortunately. Sometimes you can get Brahmin meat off this Brahmin though. It looks pretty yuck. I don't think I'd want to be meat off this Brahmin actually. Yuck. Oh, you can get Brahmin hide actually, that's useful. So. And up in here, by the way, is uh, where you can find your power armour. Right, so I do in fact have uh, something to slot into that, uh, a battery for it. But y you need to be very careful, there are lots of rad um, stags and raiders and whatevers. So it's over this way, and if we keep going over this way, we get to kind of a swampy area. And when you get to that swamp area, there is like, um, like an army... A plane, I think it's the plane that came down. I uh, know one of the choppers, one of the choppers that came down. And, and uh, there's some equipment and you know, bullets and, and whatever. There's ammo, there's um, power armor, there's all kinds. And the other thing, the one thing I really do want, I think I was running away from a rad stag once before, and that reminds me I should save. So if you don't save in this game, you do regret it. <laughs> So I keep forgetting to save. Um, 
Oh, carrot flower. So yeah, there's there's so much. Look, if you're not having any luck finding um finding anything to eat, you can come over here and you can get these. There's carrot flowers and all kinds of things. And you can even just pick them and sell them. Doesn't matter. Um, people will buy that. Feather duster, what would I want that for? Okay, well I can sell it. Okay. Now up here somewhere there is a Uh, an area, the place like a little pump, and at the pumps, the pump area, I think, is this it? There's a yeah, dead guy and a gun. So I'm just going to get down because we do have raiders hanging around. And mole rats, clearly. I like to get my bats up because it does, even though you can, you know, manually build skill. And gun bash is huge in this. It, oh, sorry, I hit my own dog. Yeah, that's gun bash right there. So, oh, got lots of stuff, hey? Food, lots of food here. So if you can't find, this is just kind of um, over the bridge and to the left. Um, a sanctuary is just there. That's sanctuary just there. So. Come up, come across the bridge and come this, sneak around. Because there's red stags and all sorts of things that can um, give you a bad time. So a 44, that's what I'm waiting for. Yep, that's the one I want, the 44. Thank you, yay, thank you again. But it's, it's almost always here actually. I need bobby pins too. I locked myself out of a, a what do we call for the first time ever. <laughs> Because I thought that I had an extra try, but I didn't have an extra try. <laughs> lid. Lid. Open the lid. Okay, well, I can't open the lid. Alright, well, that's part of a little quest thing that you have to do, actually. Okay. So, gaining a few resources, some things that I can sell to Connie at the farm to go and get some stuff. Because I need wood and I need and concrete as well no and you can't go fishing <laughs> so yeah um hopefully these red stags won't try and charge me but it is good meat if you take them down it is good meat oh the dog has to go after it of course <laughs> alright well there we go that's We're fine. That's that. I can go cook up some food and put the junk into Okay. Put the junk into here and so I'm gaining my resources. Right. Excellent. So let's look at this pistol. And what can I do, if anything, to improve it? So this is a really good gun. It's it's probably early game. It's probably one of the strongest guns you can get. Um, let's see. Standard. I can't fix anything. Can't do anything. Can't do anything. Standard sights. Not able to change that just yet. So that's okay. It's still going to do some pretty good damage. Better than what I've got. So okay. This 10 mil is fast, but it takes a few shots. Uh, the 44 will take them out first go. So, you know, half the shots, at least half the shots. Very good uh, piece of equipment. Okay, so that's it. We've got a, a nice little um, hotel area being built up here. And uh, it's just gonna keep expanding across and I'll make a nice little garden and uh, I can't really do a pool because I, I can't fill the, the pool with water in this game. Um, you have to build it into the water. So you can build the pool at Sanctuary, but you can't really do it here. And you want to get rad scrubbers. So if you can build a pool at Sanctuary, just put the rad scrubbers up. You can go swimming and get, <laughs> get your rads and then just scrub them all off. <laughs> anyway, 
Okay, well, that's all I've got to show you for now. I just wanted to run through some ideas for building, um, just show you some of the things that are good and some of the things that are frustrating. Uh, so what you're facing, what you can do, and what you have to deal with in, um, in this game. Um, so, with that said, I am going to head off now so thank you for joining me and watching on youtube if you are um, i hope you gained a few more insights um, even me just going across there and gathering resources might have been helpful for you um, to know that that snub nose pistol is there for instance um, and that no don't shoot connie do not shoot the abenathis trade with them <laughs> Trade with them. They're good trading partners, and you know that they're they're fine. They're nice people. Don't just leave them alone, right? <laughs> you know who you are. Just leave them alone. <laughs> so, so anyway, look, the Abernathys are fine. Uh, you can build that settlement to your heart's content once you get on side with them. Um, it's all yours to do whatever you want with them. They never bother you. It's not like they say, "Oh, you can't be here," or. Um, you can't do that or build this or whatever. It's yours to do what you want with, you know, make a mini town there. Do whatever on earth you feel like doing within that space. It's all yours. So, um, yeah, and that's the beauty of this game. Once you do claim a settlement like this, once you do claim an area of land, it is yours. You cannot knock down the existing structures, right? You can occasionally remove some aspects of them, but they're there permanently. You build around them, or you build new structures like I am now. And uh, with these new structures, you know, you, you make it your own. Um, you will need resources, so you need to re make sure you leave some room for such things as water. Um, you know your water tanks and your farm which you can actually make on top of a roof I can make that little area there a greenhouse for instance and then build out this way uh, if I want that's what I can do I can make the top of the red rocket just that flat area my greenhouse but I normally make that my um, my management settlement management area and uh, like make a personal little area to sleep in and everything up there so it's up to you what you want to do. Um, you can't, you cannot change the game world outside of your settlement zone. So you'll see when you go into build mode, you've only got a certain amount of area you can actually build in, and some things can't be removed without a mod. So you'll have to download, find and download a mod, for instance, to get rid of some of the litter around. So I can't clean this. In real life, of course you would clean it, but I can't, cannot get rid of it. What I can do is put the cement blocks up and the cement blocks, as I showed you, will actually um, eliminate the majority of it. Um, it's a bit difficult on the outside here though, so I usually just leave it as is. I don't worry too much about that. Um, it's just an aesthetic thing, I guess. So if you don't have a mod for it, you know, so be it. <laughs> So yeah, and uh, having the floors around the same way is a bit of a bother too. They, they like to flick around in different directions, so I'll probably fix this up, <laughs> make sure they're all the same. Okay, well thanks for joining me once again, and um, please do if you enjoy this content and you want to see more, because I will do some more, I, I need to play the game a bit, gather resources, and have enough to just have a really good go at it, and focus on just building so I might do that. I might go to Concord, do the thing, and just um, grab as much as I can, chuck it in this settlement, and I start really working it up so I have lots of resources, and then you can and come back and build. But this character is only level six, so that's an early game build. What I'm doing now is the sort of thing you can do early in the game. You can make furniture, beds, um, you can put little stoves up here, barbecue areas, whatever you, you want. Okay, so <laughs> my cat's fascinated by the dog. <laughs> you like the doggy, hey? <laughs> Look alive. to the dog. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Is 
Hey, you know boy. any tricks? You know any tricks? <laughs> the cat is watching this avidly, just like <laughs> absolutely fascinated. <laughs> can you learn that? Can you learn that trick? I want to see you do it. <laughs> Actually, one of my cats does that, <laughs> just not for very long, but does it. <laughs> just kind of peps up like a little rabbit, you know, and <laughs> sort of looks around. It's very cute. Okay, well, um, yes, so thanks for joining me, and um, I will catch you at the next one. And uh, it's very pretty out there, isn't it? Look at that lovely sky. So uh, there we go. <laughs> Looking at a very beautiful sky in a, oh, a pretty dreadful kind of world, really. I mean, it's been destroyed and all the trees have lost their leaves. <laughs> so uh, anyway, the dog is floating in space. <laughs> Magic dog. So I'll leave it there and uh, I shall catch you next time. Um, and I'll do another one once I've got more resources build this one up and I might to go to uh, Zamondra which is a tip a bit of a tricky build. Zamondra is amazing though you can build really high in Zamondra like I said some of them you can build very high so I'll figure out how many levels I can do here I might try to do a high rise we'll see <laughs> okay all the best and um, I hope to catch you at another one let uh, let your uh, parents know or friends um, anyone you know who's over 50 and interested in this kind of mode of play I do a lot of different games and I'm always looking for games that I think are suitable not only that I enjoy playing and um, think that I can actually do a decent job of demonstrating but um, also you know games that uh, I think are universally just enjoyable you know and uh, this game certainly is, it, it certainly is uh, one, right up there as one of the, the very popular games in time. So um, if you haven't played it, have a go, it's a great game. Just uh, you know, put it on easy first, first time and enjoy the story. And uh, second time, you know, up the ante, make it a bit harder. Or you can switch it during your game if you like, it doesn't matter. But get the hang of the building and uh, you, you do a lot of that with the, with the Minutemen quest. As, as part of the main quest line you have to build settlements so you have to like create things on settlements for people and help them and whatever so getting your head around the building menu is pretty important in this game if you're going to do the Minutemen quest you don't necessarily have to follow that quest line at all if you don't really want to but it is the main um, it's kind of tied in with the main quest line of the game so anyway uh, okay all the best and I, I shall catch you at another stream I do uh, Mondays and Wednesdays from 8 30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time till late on a Monday and uh, usually for about two to two and a half hours on a Wednesday for play and explore series in which I will look at different games each time and um, you know ways of playing them or show you something within that game to assist you with your play um, or give you ideas which I'm all about I, I'm giving you inspiration and ideas with something that I'm doing or building um, okay so I shall catch you next time bye for now mm -hmm.